Artists during the early part of the 16th century developed a technique to paint over dark grounds. These dark grounds were composed mainly of earth pigments, lead white, and bound in linseed oil. The ground was supplied over canvas support, and the paintings were built up with light passages opaquely over these dark colored grounds to create pure, pure harmonies that created a lot of atmosphere. In this figure demonstration, I'm going to be working with this technique. I'm going to be using a ground composed of red ochre, calcite bound in linseed oil, and applied on my canvas with a palette knife. To create the effect of chiaroscuro, I'm going to be using opaque historical pigments such as lead white, yellow ochre, vermilion, red ochre, matter lake, brown ochre, and two types of black, bone black and vine black. I'm going to begin my demonstration by establishing a very schematic uh, underpainting uh, with diluted earth colors to establish the overall compositional design and also to establish the proportions of the figure. Once I have the proportions and the overall composition of the figure, I will begin by applying my light passages using lead white, yellow ochre, raw sienna, and black. Now these colors are limited, but I will also be able to get the greenish effect that will harmonize and will create optical color with the red base that I already have. This technique is common of painters such as Caravaggio and uh, also Correggio. Tintoretto is also uh, documented using this technique. And this serves as an underpainting or an underlayer to lay more brighter colors on top. I will begin by mixing the tones or the tints or the half tones on my palette and applying them in patches and then later working these passages uh, opaquely and creating soft transitions to create the rotation of the forms. Once I have all the rotation of the forms working, then I could begin by detailing and bringing out the detail in semi-translucent colors, such as raw sienna, bone black and vine black, also brown ochre. I will continue to develop these tones for many hours to create the subtle effects that I'm looking for. Now this process will involve softer brushes and also attention to flawless transitions which give the effect of a three-dimensional turning in form.
To finish the demonstration, I will continue to add more details. Also, being cautious to create the overall harmony that I'm looking for. Now in this case, the color is very limited and it creates atmosphere. Now the subject that I've chosen is a female figure posed in a classical style to give the word a feeling of narrative. I will continue to refine my forms and also I will use big passages of impasto paint to give a sense of three-dimensional form. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my website for more information on live online classes dedicated to drawing and painting.